All right, today we are in Zionsville, Pennsylvania. We're at the Zionsville Antique Mall. This is about 10 to 15 minutes past Fenstie's Antique Flea Market, which we did a video on last time. But today, we're gonna check this place out, and this apparently is it's just as good, or if not better, with the amount of vendors, so. Let's check it out. Let's go inside and see what they have. We got our radio code 103. We have our Alpha Hound ABG and we have our UV torch. How's it going? Happy hunting to me and let's hope we find something. I don't even know where to begin, honestly. I mean, as you know, we do play the guitar. They got a nice Jackson on the wall. Wow. That's wonderful. And it looks like we might have found our first piece. $38, which is not terrible by any means, but that was pretty quick, guys. Maybe the third booth. Very exciting. We're going to have to definitely come back and do a little research on that. Found this old, how do you say it, Seiko? And it does light up under UV, but when we hit it with our Geiger... You're not getting a, a reading, as you can see here. Nothing. Some of these booths are just put together so well, just with the nostalgia and the theme. We're definitely going to have to do a secondary search through here when we are done filming. I thought this was something actually right here. It looked like it's an old General Electric, but there's nothing in there. Cool find though. Oh, and there we go, guys. We have another booth with our good old uranium glass. Nice and bright over here. Let's see what we're looking at price-wise though. The cup is 20. And the bowl is 40. Not terrible. These are actually pretty cool. Very unique. But I love this right here for 160. And then we got this big huge vase for $238. Again, a nice another nice booth setup. Oh, we're still on the lookout for marbles. Yep, I did it again. The only thing, it wasn't a chandelier or a lamp. It was clothing this time is what I bumped my head into. But it's every place I go to, I bump my head in something. So, again, another cool booth. All right, we have another booth here. Once again, we got that uranium glass, guys. Prices are decent. Uh, that's actually a nice bowl for only 27 would have to look a little further into it but look at that some nice pieces very cool oh even up here oh look at this the mixing uh, glass or the mixing the, the mixer rather that's fantastic oh, that bowl has a little bit of heat to it Boom. A uh, vintage Vaseline dish with hand stem. That's actually pretty cool. That's handmade. Oh no, I, I read that wrong. It's not handmade, but that is really cool. Look at that. Nice glow. $110 though. Is this one over here? Oh, there's another one. What are we looking at over here? Looking at $18. Candy dish actually pretty nifty let's see if we can get a reading off of it in our right ear code nothing now it is 25% off now oh, here's one check this out we got the bunny we got the Vaseline bunnies the rooster we have the star and then we have the swan which 
I've seen the star before. I've seen the glowy starfish. It's only $12. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure what's in there. But the Vaseline bunnies, or the uranium glass bunny and the rooster, very cool. Never seen those before. That's a first. But there's just, just a lot of stuff here. I mean, we even have the custard, which I don't think any of these... No. However, sometimes these will go off. So let's see. Does the bunny do anything? No. Very cool. Now, as you guys know, we've been doing the rock collecting lately. Now, I don't know if any of this is actually going to go off, but it's always worth a shot. Uh, we have sea salt, some crystals. This is petrified wood. Nothing. Let's see what we have over here. Calcite. Nothing. Maybe some blue appetite somewhere. A nice big piece of blue appetite. Those are arrowheads. Getting nothing on there. This is Labradorite. Nothing. But it's always nice to check. Because you never know if something might be radioactive or not. Here's a quick one. This looks like uranium glass right here. But... We actually don't get any reaction from our 395 UV. And then if we put up our Alpha Hound, we actually don't get a reading either. So make sure you... Oh, wait a minute. Now something's going up all of a sudden. Could it be this? Yeah, it's, it's picking up this depression glass over here. Not this guy. So yeah, just make sure you have your torch and your Geiger counter if you're going out looking for uranium glass. We found some ivory. I actually don't have any ivory fiesta wear. So I think one of these might actually come home if I can only pick up one. But this will go nice with the orange. Again, if anybody's looking for something that has the glaze, this is. I believe, yeah, this is Hall. Now, Hall, American company, they made a lot of this. It's not crazy hot. But you can get them on the cheap because of that uranium glaze on the outside. But for three bucks for a mixing bowl, yeah, I mean, it just doesn't go with what I collect. But this is for anybody that's looking to get something that has the glaze on it. There you go. This place seriously has everything. I am going to absolutely have to go through take another loop around after this there's just so much in this antique mall that i can spend hours here i mean it's huh. and i already found a couple of things and i hope are going to be coming home with me but we are going to have to hit these booths again ladies and gentlemen absolutely so hmm. fantastic Oop, there it is, a little more right there. It's for the whole set, it seems. 38, well, I guess they know what they got. Because I don't think we'll be spending that much on those. It's unfortunate. Check this little guy out right here. This is a Persiller Southwest teapot with uranium glaze. It's actually pretty cool, $15. I just don't have room for, or the wants of a teapot. Does this go off too? No, it's definitely this. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Getting a little bit of a reading on there to include alpha. Okay, so check this shelf out, right? I got a little bit of milk glass on there. I'm going to take the alpha hound. We're just going to scroll it across and watch it start to pick up and go crazy around here. That's because we found an old mantle, which definitely going to be coming home with us. Awesome. Let's hit that with the radio code also. Yep, there it goes. 
Yeah. All right. So we found something other than uranium glass. Awesome. Check this guy out. Look at that. They want 77. It's from Mitch, and it's a, a mixer slash pitcher. I've actually never seen one in person before, but that lights up, baby. Look at that. That is awesome. And it's 20% off. Okay, I think we might have found some uranium marbles. I'm not sure, sure but you can see right there. Oh, boy. I think we're going to have to do that, guys. I've been looking for them. I think we found them. All right, we got a baby Ben, but I don't think it's anything, unfortunately. And then we'll hit it with the alpha hound. But unfortunately, we I got excited. I thought we had a baby Ben. But let's look. On the bottom, it's, pla it's a plastic back. So the plastic ones don't have the radium loom, unfortunately. So it's a newer model. And if we hit it with the black light, which what did I do with it? It should, yeah. But it doesn't have any uh, radium, unfortunately. All right, I, I bought four things. Uh, I just couldn't help myself. Uh, I got a couple of pieces of uranium glass. I got an old mantle that pretty much contaminated my uh, alpha hound and my hands. So uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. And then I got a white ivory Fiesta wear uh, dish because I don't have one. So I wanna thank you guys for checking this out. Again, this is the Zion, Zionsville Antique Mall in Zionsville. It's a pretty big store. The staff was awesome, they were friendly, they helped me out, they answered my questions, and I got a pretty good deal. Total spends today was $66 for four pieces. Not great, not terrible, but like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Be safe, take it easy, bye-bye.